First appearing in New X Men issue 134 in 2003, Quentin Quire, aka Kid Omega, is a rebellious, arrogant mutant, a literal genius, and one of the most powerful psychics to grace the panels of Marvel's comics. With power that vast, there is a lot to be said about the intricacies of what this young adult can do. So today we are taking a closer look at Kid Omega and his chops with our list of the top 10 superpowers you didn't know Quentin Quire had. Starting us off in at number 10, he's an Omega level telepath. Let's begin with the baseline here and talk about where most of Quentin Quire's powers come from his Omega level telepathy. Kid Omega can organize and create his thoughts at accelerated rates, and according to Charles Xavier in New X Men issue 135 in 2003, Quentin's powers are, I quote, deep, subtle, and he's able to influence minds around him. So Quentin can resist mind probes, disable other forms of psychic manipulation, and can either overtly or covertly manipulate the minds of others. While initially when he was at the Xavier school, he was jacked up on the drug Kick, which boosted his powers. But in more recent years, it's clear that his telepathic power isn't rooted in some sort of synthetic boost. It's all him. Up next, number nine, telekinesis. Aside from being an Omega level psychic, Quentin is also an Omega level telekinetic. This means he can manipulate others at will, he can manipulate objects, and he can also project something called psychokinetic bolts. He has used telekinesis to attack people, put rooms back together, hold foes back, and even win at video games by button mashing. But the extent of what he can do with it is much bigger than that. His telekinesis is really fine tuned to the point where he can sense and even manipulate matter and energy down to a subatomic level. He has proven to reinforce integrate his own body after it was destroyed. Now we've yet to see the upper limit of his telekinetic powers, but the fact that he's considered an omega level telepath to begin with, it kind of speaks volumes as is. And at number 8, mental manipulation. Another aspect of his telepathic powers is that Kid Omega has the ability to subtly and deeply influence multiple people at the same time. This manipulation extends to adjusting their perceptions, their judgement despite their own pre-existing values and rationale, their will, and their common sense. In addition to this, he can pull off a few other nifty manipulation based tricks like mind control, as long as those individuals are in his physical presence, mental amnesia in which he can erase an individual's awareness of memories, including causing total amnesia, and lastly, mental paralysis, in which he can induce temporary mental or physical paralysis on a target of his choosing. Up next, number 7, Telepathic Tracking Quentin is able to use his advanced psionic senses to track and detect other sentient beings. He can sense their unique psionic emanations, which is something that occurs through sensing an individual's thought patterns contained in the psionic portion of the spectrum. This is a really nifty trick to use when he is targeting an individual who poses a threat to him and is in the nearby or Immediate vicinity. I mean, it would come in pretty handy when you're trying to avoid surprise attacks. And at six, telepathic cloak. Ever wish you could just be invisible? Well, this is something that Quentin Quire has figured out how to do, but not in the traditional sense. Kid Omega can mask his presence, keeping him practically invisible to others so that they cannot sense or detect him. While this can sometimes be counteracted by other powerful telepaths, it is something that has definitely come in handy when saving his butt from the wrath of characters like Wolverine. He can also use his telepathic cloaking to mask others too. Up next at five, astral projection. Like most other psychics in the Marvel Universe, Quentin has the ability to astral project. This means he can project an astral form outside of his body onto something called the astral planes. But Quentin has shown more ability when astral projecting compared to some other psychic characters, largely thanks to how powerful the telepath he is. On the astral plane, Quentin is capable of mentally creating psionic objects and can also manipulate aspects of the environment that he's in. He can also project onto the physical planes, in which he can only travel short distances while in this form. In at number 4, Psionic Energy Mimicry Let's take a look at a power that hasn't been fully confirmed yet, Quentin's potential for psionic energy mimicry. This actually ties into something we mentioned earlier in our telekinesis number, that time that Quentin was able to put himself back together again when theoretically dying. While on the drug kick and suffering from a powerful and fatal psychic blast from the Stepford Cuckoos, Quentin's mutation rapidly evolved, saving his life. He transformed into a non-corporeal life form existing as a disembodied consciousness, in a form of psionic energy which mimicked his physical form. It's how he kept himself alive, although he had trouble keeping the form together when he was tired or worn down. And at 3, Psychic Intelligence one of the reasons why Quentin's abilities are so fine tuned and vast is because of his psychic intelligence. He has got a genius level intellect and an astute cognitive and mental abilities that let him organize and construct his thoughts at an incredibly fast pace. He can process data at high speeds, formulate thoughts of enormous quantity and quality, and project ideas and impressions onto the minds of others. He is able to think 10 million brilliant thoughts per second according to Emma Frost. And once he made a helmet based off of magnetos that would prevent Charles Xavier from using his powers. Also, he's built tech like anti-gravity hover cases on a whim. 
No wonder he's so arrogant at times. He also possesses the ability to quickly process, learn, and store information via telepathic transference. And at number two, Psychic Construct. Okay, so this is really cool. One of the things that Quentin can do is create constructs within his mind, something that he refers to as the construct. Now with enough effort and concentration, he's able to create a large world in his mind, filled with AI driven scenarios, thousands of NPCs, which is a video game term for non playable characters and therefore driven by AI, and each of those NPCs has their own backstory. Yeah. That's super impressive and detailed. If he pulls someone into this world, their body goes into a coma like state with their mind entering into the world in his mind. It's like plopping someone inside a real life video game controlled by Kid Omega. The AI feeds off the memories of anyone inside the world, which goes past Quentin himself. Based on those memories, there will be things that exist within the construct that Quentin himself is not familiar with. Now, we've only seen the construct in its full glory in one instance during Wolverine and the X Men Alpha and Omega, in which Quentin pulls both Wolverine and armor into the construct. He eventually loses control of it after keeping it maintained for several days. Part of this was due to his own disturbed psyche at the time. Also fun fact, if the individual he pulls into the world has a secondary personality living inside of them, which was the case with Wolverine, rather than going into a coma, that second personality will take over that individual's body. Oh, the consequences. And last but not least, let's end off our list with a pretty fun number. Personally, I think so. In at one, his psionic shotgun. <laughs> or as Quentin calls it, a psychic shotgun. It's kind of similar to how other telepaths can channel psychic energy into the form of a weapon like a sword or a dagger. Except it is shaped like a literal shotgun and works just exactly as you'd expect it to work. He creates it by channeling his mental energy as an astral energy shotgun construct, which he then manifests with his telepathic powers. He also creates it on a whim, too, after learning that Psylocke does a similar trick to create her Psyblade. Instead of it dealing damage like a regular gun would though, it deals mental damage that causes his foes intense pain and can even knock them unconscious. Or kill them. Yeah. He also once created a psionic rocket launcher with his powers too. But I don't know, the shotgun's just kind of more fun. Alright, there we have it friends. Thank you for watching. If you guys love this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd if you haven't already. We'd love it if you stuck around with us some more. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.